I was in a, a show here called Posh a few years ago in, in 2010, which was my sort of first big introduction to the theatre from the inside. Um, uh, you know, having been a, a kind of starry-eyed admirer of what goes on inside from the outside, as it were. 60 years ago, it had no history, so it was just a theatre doing plays about now and about like, what is happening right now. And that's still what it is. It's the, the new writing theatre, isn't it? It's the cutting-edge place. Um, and with that history, now that it's built up over 60 years, it's got clout as well. People listen to the voice or what plays on these stages say. And so it's not just sort of new writing and that's great. It's actually got clout and, and sort of a very, very powerful voice. And it's a theatre, I suppose, that is not only about now, but it's, it's, uh, it's open and available. You know, anyone can write a play that can be put on here. It's not a place that has... or doesn't feel like a place that has its favourites. If you write a play and it's good enough and it says something about what's happening in the world then it can, be put, it can be put on here. And I know people who've gone through the new writer's scheme here and that sort of thing, and it's just so... It, 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 changes, it changes their lives and, other, and people's lives who come and see shows here as well, I think. Posh was quite a game-changing play, I think. Certainly for my career, personally, but, that's, but I never saw that or read it. So, well, of course I read it, but um, never saw it. Um, but I did a play on the radio uh, a few weeks ago called The Patriot for Me, which is an old John Osborne play. Uh, I think it was written in six, 1965 or so. And... Of course, that was a, a raw court play. It was, it's an incredible p piece. I, I didn't know it before I worked on it. And um, rereading and then working on it, layers just started to appear. And I imagine in 65, I think it's 65, that would have been a huge game machine, hugely game changing play. And for me personally, just, um, that's the sort of work that, that you go, I imagine you go and see, and it, cha it just changes how you see the world. It's, and, and for me personally, read, reading that and working on it, it sort of oh, it blew my mind. It completely blew my mind. It felt so uh, raw and angry and fresh and modern. Uh, sort of prophetic, in a way. When we did Posh, um, we performed on the night of the 2010 general election. And that was uh, unbelievable. The, the, the atmosphere that that created in the, in the theatre that night when people had voted that day. So uh, that was very exciting. And then going out into the bar and, and following the, the, the results as they, as they came in for the election and staying, and the, I think they kept the bar open until sort of three or four in the morning. And that was just thrilling, thrilling, thrilling experience. So good to, to do something that was so live and so uh, sort of fizzing with, uh, with energy of something completely current was amazing. Um, and actually, the day art jokes that had been getting huge laughs stopped being funny, and the day after, and new jokes, uh, jokes that never had a reaction got a different. You know, it was just comp it was so amazing that the reaction to a play could change so quickly because of what was going on in the world. The other thing is that during that show, um, Kit Harrington, who's now uh, you know world famous, got his hand stuck in a vase. I suppose an empty must have been an empty vase because and he was just playing around and we were like okay we're ready to go now and Kit Kit was sort of had his still had his back turned and we we're like Kit Kit <laughs> come back and he was sort of wrestling with something and he turned and he said like, what's wrong and he sort of gave up wrestling and was like hand in vase <laughs> it's this huge glass vase around his and he couldn't get it out anyway, that's quite a vivid memory I'll never forget that story. <laughs>